Hey everyone, it's Rikumiti Tiam here and you're welcome to The Growing Seed. Before you continue watching this video, remember to do the honors of liking, commenting down below, sharing this with your friends and subscribing to The Growing Seed if you're new to my channel. So, today we'll be delving into my skincare journey, okay? Um, and if you want to find out more about how it has been, how I've been taking care of my skin, I mean, all these years, then please do continue watching. So So after washing my face with a deep cleanser, I then go into same thing, oil control range, um, the anti-blemish face scrub. Yeah. So it exfoliates, reduces oiliness, non-ethnogenic, and does not dry out skin. I can testify to this. It does not. Okay. Yeah. So with this also, I don't put on a lot because I don't want to. And and start scrubbing my face. scrub is not too harsh on my skin because besides having acne prone skin I have 
I, I discovered in 2019 that I have very sensitive skin and it sucks guys having sensitive skin and um having sensitive skin and acne prone skin that's not a good combination you know yeah so i always try that on me to just be very gentle on my face time to wash my face so after Washing the scrub off my face and then, you know, dab, dab the wetness out of my skin. Put on my girl for dab it off. I've seen recently that um, face cloths are not good for the skin because apparently they have a lot of bacteria or what germs, I don't know. And you're supposed to use paper towel or cotton pads. So I'm going to start um, wiping my face with a paper towel soon though, but not now. I'm still very attached to a face cloth. Hey? So I just dab now. Okay, after doing this, I then tone my face with a deep clarifying toner. Yeah, I use this to tone my face. And it mattifies, purifies, reduces oiliness, and non-acnogenic. This is my, this is your holy grail to skincare, bro. The toner. Use toners, guys. So I don't care a lot. Oh yeah, hello, why? Okay, that was a bit too much, child. So from here, I just rub. <laughs> your face or your skin on the other side i told my neck never forget the neck never neglect the neck right after i'm done i then pat my face now the reason why i do this is because i saw from like i said another skincare video a person tapping their face or like just doing this with their fingers but i never feel to do it i'm not done if you think that i'm done Trust me, honey, I am not done. And then get into this special part of my skincare routine, which is a mud mask or a menthol mask. Yes. It is a menthol mud mask. It exfoliates, absorbs excess oil, non acnegenic, acnegenic, and does not dry out skin. The whole point is for it to dry out and then wash it off. I, I put it on for 15 20 minutes. Yeah, so just put on this much. It's not that much. You want a handful. No. With any kind of mask that you use, you do not want to put on a handful. Before I used to use a brush, but now I just prefer to use my finger because it gets on parts that a brush cannot get on. So, after I'm done, like I'm done right now, I then just sit my timer. For 15 minutes because i feel like because i feel like uh, 20 minutes is way too long bro i can't eat i can't wait for that long so it is starting right now and i will see you guys after 15 minutes oh bro what the 15 minutes is done and i'm just about to wash this off but do you see how it looks once it has dried up and my mom just advised me that um my face starts here well it ends here so I should start applying my mask or my scrub until here. And then my neck starts here, going down. So I'm gonna start like doing that from now on. Just... Right after washing my face, I then go on with my spot clearing gel, right? This is the gel that I use right before I, wa I put cream on my face, right? So this is what it looks like. And then it's very small. So here, here's how it looks. It says your clear spots reduces oiliness, reduces redness, and non acnegenic. I would then put a teeny tiny amount, not too much, because it really does spread and little goes a long way. Yeah, not a lot to see.
The reason why I did it so fast is because it dries out so quickly. So I had to do it like really fast. So I then wait for it to dry out a little bit. Well, not a little bit, a lot. So that I can actually apply my face cream. And that is the Matte Effect Cream. Alright, alright, hello. I love this cream with all my heart. So it mattifies, visibly refines pores, 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 reduces oiliness and non ethnogenic. I just love it so much. And this is how it looks on the inside. This is how it looks. Take not too much, maybe this much, right? Because it really does um, spread onto your skin, like it spreads. So the more you take is really the more you will get, you know? Yeah, so I just tap it onto my face where I'm most needed, right? The reason why I'm, I'm tapping it is because I need to be gentle on my skin, you know? I don't wanna just and then, right? I normally would do that, but because today is a, is a self care day, I just, you know, dot it onto my face and then I lather, I lather, spread. here brightening even tone eye cream using your ring finger gently pat onto skin into skin around the eye area until fully absorbed use twice daily so what i would do is just see that it's not a lot i think i put too much on the side which i will then just transfer into that side with my ring finger right I will then leather onto the, I don't know, leather or like bone, tass. After I rub it onto my skin, I then pat gently with my ring fingers. You use your ring fingers because it is the most gentle finger. And not forgetting one of the most important steps of my skincare routine. Vaseline, Tuss, Surasama Logo, Lip Stuff, Bro. Oh my gosh. Um, my last one was about to finish. So my mom just bought this today. I normally use, to be quite honest with you guys, this isn't my favorite. I normally use the green one because it's so gentle on my lips and it makes my lips really soft and it evens out, literally evens out the, 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 my skin tone on my lips, you know. Yeah, because I do have a serious, like, my lips are very sensitive, but I will explain that later on into the video because it's also a very important part of my lips, are also an important part of my face. Right? I take a lot because I have huge lips, guys, as you guys can see. I have a huge mouth, so I take a lot. And the same, more the same, but please, when you ask your friends for tasks, don't in it, no. You don't want to you, you don't want to create a stadium okay just do it around 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 uh -huh. so with this much and then toss and i'm done and that people is the end of my skin routine my fully detailed skin routine and on to the next I will then be explaining why all of this or more of how I came to this point where I am right now where my skin is looking like this. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, I just forgot to add a side note that everything that I will be telling you guys is based on my opinion and my experience. So please don't say, hey, where are the facts or what? Just listen to what i have to say because this is my view right channel like i can that means i will be expressing my opinions 
Alrighty guys, this is the portion of the video where I explain my skincare journey, right? So if you want to see or hear what my skin, my poor skin has been through, please do continue watching. Oh, um, I would say that eh, my skin has been through a lot. Just like my hair, my skin also has stories. I have acne prone skin slash problem skin, meaning that um, my skin produces a lot of oil, which then causes acne. So I have pimple problems, okay? I started noticing that I have um, acne prone skin when I was in grade five, I was 11 years old. I started realizing that, you know, my skin was not skinning like it usually would. Cause I, I would see Horman in my old videos. Oh, my skin was terrible, guys. My skin was horrible. Right. I realized that, okay, my skin really was getting problematic. I think my mom started to realize that too. So then we would then try the first one, obviously the holy grail of all skincare products, which is Pons, right? I started using Pons when I was in grade five. I was like, live in That's how bad my skin was, you know? I used a cream. I think I washed my face with Protex. I would then um, apply cream, the um, oily to super oily, I think, range, if I'm not mistaken. So then I then hopped on onto another product because I just felt like it wasn't doing me any justice, you know? So then I started using these other products. I remember at some point I used Garnier, um, and like it was, how was it? At the time I didn't really know much, I didn't know well. So instead of using like a proper face wash, I think the proper face wash consisted of a scrub. It wasn't really like a, a cleansing thing. It wasn't smooth. It was like, it obviously contained particles because it is a scrub. Like I remember just hopping from one product to another. From one, as young as my skin was, I would hop on from one product to the other. In grade seven, that's when I started like um getting dark marks around my face, right? I hated them so much because they really looked horrible, okay? I remember, I remember some teacher coming to me and be like, no bro, your dog marks be looking weird. And I didn't even know what a dog marks came from, um, well, my dog marks came from the fact that I always used to pop my pimples. So at the time, I always felt the urge to pop my pimples because there was so much, they were everywhere. Like, so uh, in grade, like I said, guys, I used to use a lot of things on my face. Throughout the time, like it was a grade eight or nine, I still used a lot of products on my face. So in grade 10, I then started using a lot of the people who have acne prone skin, who have oily skin have used this and it has worked, you know, some, some of the times it would work. So cinnamon, I mean, is it cinnamon? yeah, cinnamon and honey, that combo, ah, that combo, I, bro, you can't tell me that if you have acne prone skin, you have not used that combo yet. That combo worked miracles on my face. But here's the thing. I feel like it didn't work most of the time only because I just feel like it's not something that is, it's not that professional. It is a natural ingredient. Of course, they are natural ingredients, but they weren't the one thing that I would rely on. So um, in grade 10, grade 10, I'm, just, I'm sure of what I like. I think that was the best year for my skin. Grade 10 was probably the best year of my skin because my skin was popping and my hair was popping, okay? So everything was just going great in grade 10. Like, the reason why I say this is because one day, me and my friend, I think it was in the middle of um, subjects. So we saw this other girl. She was picking aloe vera from the garden. I don't know if it's aloe, aloe vera, but call it aloe vera picking aloe vera plant from the garden and like she'd always like pick it every day man so like her and i were like really interested in why she would pick it so like what do you do with aloe vera like we asked her one day what do you do with that thing and she'd tell us oh, no um i use it on my face and we're like on your face she'd be like yeah i use it on my face so i would just apply it at night and then wash it off the following day and we're like Okay, because her and I, like her and like my, my friend and I were like obsessed with 
skincare you know so then we were like okay um i'm down if you're down girl and then we're like we're both down so then we started taking the aloe veras from the garden right so we pick them put them in the plastic bag and just take them to our houses so then what i would do was just wash so i had i had a, like a routine right so i would wash my face with dove I would apply the aloe vera plant depending on how long I wanted it to like last on my face. I would then use a scrub, right? So the scrub I use it like three times a week. I would use the scrub. I would. I also had a lip scrub, right? Remember that I said in the beginning of the video that my lips are sensitive. I'm gonna get to that. So I would use a scrub. Uh, it was lemon brown sugar and honey right i'd apply the scrub on my lips make my lips so nice and soft and because i have dark lips i had to use it right so that it would even out my the color of my lips right i then would apply coconut oil when i was done guys did i go oh, my skin was popping and only using natural products so <clears throat> i would do that Dove, scrub, um, maybe like aloe, and then sleep, and then the the the, the scrub. No, wait, the, the lip scrub first, and then apply, touch the aloe, right? And the following day, I would then um, wash it off, and then apply the coconut oil. The only disadvantage was that the coconut oil plus my oily skin was not a great combination, you know. But I just lived with it because I was like, bro, my skin is popping. I don't care. The reason why I applied scrub on my lips, right? So here's the story behind my lips. In grade, like in grade eight, I started using blistics, right? Blistics. I think we all know blistics. Like that is the one thing that you can never go wrong with. Except for me, I went really wrong with blistics. So my cousin introduced me to blistics, right? Because I could see her applying it all the time. And obviously I read what it does to your lips. It's like a repair, it does this, it does that. So it is great for your lips, you know? So I started applying it, right? I started applying it. And then, you know, it has that burning sensation, right? So I loved that burning sensation. Because it made my lips nice and smooth. Like my lips just felt so nice. So then I would notice, when my lips are getting dark. I think I noticed before I started applying that. No, 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 no. I didn't even notice before. I noticed after I started applying the blistics, right? But I didn't really um, pay attention to it because I was like, maybe it's not the blistics. Maybe it's the sun or something. I don't know. So I went through a period of which, like, my lips were so dark. People started thinking like I was smoking or something, and that was not the case at all. My lips would get really dark, and I'd ask myself, why is that happening? So then that's why I started applying the scrub on my lips so that it could even out the the, the the darkness of my lips right fine <laughs> my skin was popping and all like that and then i stopped using it for a while stopped using the aloe thing for a while and then when i tried to go back to it and here's the thing with the aloe thing right it worked but the only thing was that the very first time i started applying it um my skin would burn. I really got used to that sensation and then my skin got used to it. So when I tried to get back to it again, the same year, 2018, it, it was just bad for my skin. So then in grade 11 now, when I moved to Kimberley, my mom actually was like, you know what? You need to start using something. You need to have a, a, a proper skincare routine so that you know you have a face wash, a toner and a cream, right? Cool. Like it was like clicks products. I started applying those things and then I noticed that my skin was starting to break out. So like just break out a little bit here on my forehead and on my cheeks, right? So there's something that I was already used to. I was really used to breaking out. It was something, it wasn't unusual. I know my skin, I know I'm acne prone. At the time I was like, okay, let me just stop using this because I can see or maybe it is the one that is like affecting my skin so badly. So then I stopped using it. But after I stopped using it, I would see Horman. My skin is still getting acne, but now my acne is getting worse. My acne was so bad. Grade 11 was by far the worst year for my face. Like, my skin was so bad. And 
And the thing is, a lot of people would see that, and I was so embarrassed, like, that I was like, I need to get this acne gone, child. I need to get it gone. So I went to see a dermatologist. Went to a dermatologist, and the first thing that I wanted, instead of just to take care of my skin, I was like, my lips. I need to know what's going on with my lips, okay? So the doctor asked me what I used for my lips. I was like, I used to use this and that. And then he was like, you might be allergic to one of the ingredients, so you need to stop using this I was like, what? You, you say what? But then it made a lot of sense when I was allergic to those things because, can I mention one thing? Before I went to the dermatologist, the reason why I went to the dermatologist was in March 2019, during that week when we were rehearsing and all of those things, my lips started to swell a lot. My lips would bleed. My lips would produce a lot of water or liquid. I don't know what that was. So you must know how my skin, my lips were down bad, honey. My lips were so, I couldn't eat, chew, laugh. It was so painful for me to do either of those things. So obviously I had to see a dermatologist because I was like, there's something wrong with my lips and I need to know what exactly is going on, you know? So that's when my doctor told me, you might be allergic to these things, to these ingredients. Fine. He then recommended Zero Derm for me, of which I do use right now. If, like, it's it has a, a SPF, so obviously, like, I would use it now and again. And then I asked about my skin on my face, because it's like, I thought that's what you were here for in the first place. And he recommended these other products. I think it was Cetaphil at the time. Yeah, it was Cetaphil. He recommended Cetaphil for me to use. And then this other ointment, right? So this ointment, said, he said that I just needed to use a pea size and then spread it all around my face to see the difference. The only problem with this was that if you didn't apply the, the, the ointment, I still would get acne. And I was like, in no way I'm wasting my time with this. So then, fast forwarding to the end of the year, fine, cool. I saw a lot of like my 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 skin was producing a lot of allergies, allergic reaction. You know like how it I think it ranges from a hundred to six hundred, like your allergy count. My allergy count was at four hundred. It's that bad. It was that bad. Fine. Now that really made me feel extremely insecure about my skin. Like I was not having it with my skin child. Like I had a lot of dark marks. Um the after effects of those um uh of the of the allergy reaction. Fine. So then finally now last year, 2020, I still used a lot of products on my skin. Cause I really did need to find a holy grail. I, I needed to find something that would work perfectly for my skin. My mom was someone who sold Justine, right? So I was like, mama, like, please, like, I really need to use this thing. So I was like, I was doing the research on what exactly to use for my skin and my skin type. So I'd see a lot of video of people saying you need to use vitamin, your, 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 your products and you have, I don't know, vitamin C or E. Like it has to have like a specific, a specific ingredients that will work for your skin. Fine. Now I research the oil control range, right, on Justine. I would see Hormon Moussomo. These are like, they're similar, the, 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 the ingredients, some of the ingredients that I need are right here on these products. So I was like, mama, please, this is the last time I'm gonna switch products because she was really getting tired. She was getting tired of me always switching on and off from products like that, because that's how bad it was. Fine, the products come and my skin loved them. You. My skin loved Justine, okay? It was living for Justine. So obviously, seeing now that my skin was in love with Justine, obviously I'm gonna use it like for the rest of my life. So I've been using Justine ever since, guys. And yeah, that is my skin journey. And I'm so grateful that I got to have that experience because if I hadn't gotten that experience, I wouldn't have known what exactly my skin needs. Now, this, the main purpose of this video is to stop someone from making the mistakes that I have made with these 
over these years of try like trying these many products and potentially damaging your skin because you do not want to find yourself or find your skin so damaged to a point of no return okay so if you do find a product that works well for you stick to it like for me example justine is working perfectly for me i don't see myself moving away from it of course like I mean, if brands want to try and like send me their products, I'll obviously use them because I mean, but other than that, I believe in Justine with everything in me, bro. I believe in Justine more than I believe in my own life, more than I believe in my own dreams. Um, My mom, I'm sure is literally the reason why I am into skincare or why I have a skincare routine because she's the one person that will, that encourages skincare, you know? It doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, you need to have a skincare routine and your skincare routine needs to consist of, you know, a wash, a toner and a cream. Anything else in between, that's up to you. But she always did recommend for me to use those things so that I do have a step-by-step -step process and each one of those things has um, a purpose of its own, you know. The reason why I'm saying this is because she was like, the one thing that people always fail with is not having a, a proper skincare routine. Those products are designed to tackle skin, any kind of skin problem that you have. I'm not saying that if you have normal skin that your skin has problems, but they are designed to take care of your skin for a long period of time, you know? So the moment you just stick to soap and lotion, your skin isn't getting the nourishment that it needs, you know? It's, it's not. The reason why I'm also saying this is because of the amount of research that I've done over the years to see what exactly my skin needs. So I please, I encourage you, whoever you are, do research on the type of skin that you have. And if you do find products that are compatible for your face, please start using it, you know? Please start using it. Don't just stick to soap and cream or soap. I mean, sunscreen is extremely important. Don't get me wrong. But soap and sunscreen won't get you through the rest of your life. You know, well, based on my opinion, you know, or based on what I have seen thus far, you know. So yeah, I also want to encourage people to love their skin as it is. Whether it's smooth, whether it has acne, whether it's flaking because it's dry, whether it has, whether you're like, it has a rash, a heat rash, whatever it may be, please love your skin as it is because there's no one who's gonna love you as you are except for yourself. You know, I think that is the one thing that I failed to do over the years because every time I break out, I always lead my, 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 my natural instinct would then to be find something that will tackle this acne or this oily skin to just get it out of the way and look beautiful. Not thinking or not realizing that I was literally beautiful just the way I was. I didn't need an instant repairer to um, view myself as beautiful, you know? And that's the thing about like growing up in a society that we have right now. These things aren't normalized. Acne is not normalized. Dry skin, sensitive skin, none of those things are normalized. So I'm encouraging you today, please love yourself. Love your skin as it is. Love it as it is through the stages that it goes through. If your skin is flaking one moment, love it as it is. If it is smooth the next, Love it as it is, you know? Because there's no way that you can love your skin once it is perfect. Because perfect is literally just a standard that society is set, okay? Or that the man has set for us. And really, nothing in this world is perfect except for you, okay? Except for you. Don't, don't allow social standards to get in your head, okay? That's the one thing that I will never fail to encourage or never fail to mention in this channel, okay? Never follow social standards. So please, just love yourself as you are, please. But yeah, guys, we have unfortunately reached the end of the video. Yuh, that was a long story, hey? But I needed to tell my story, you know? I just needed people to understand that having any kind of skin is beautiful, okay? You are beautiful. And now my skin is much better than ever. I take care of it. I love it. A lot of the other natural ingredients you can use is literally water by drinking water each and every single day. A lot of people say that water doesn't help, or water doesn't, is not useful, it's not helpful. But a lot of people don't understand that skin care requires patience. 
it requires a lot of patience if you're not patient with yourself you will not see any result because you're so focused on seeing the end result rather than being patient and loving yourself throughout the entire journey you know yeah so the one thing that i also forgot to mention be patient with yourself be patient with your skin it will not work in miracles like this it won't trust me it won't especially if you expect it to work like that in an instant it will not trust it will not you will stay like that until you actually have to realize oh mama let me wait and see what it has to provide you know and i need you guys to also do research on the kinds of pimples that you get so each pimple that you get like wherever on your face is a sign of something like i'm telling you you're gonna find the best ways possible on how to reduce your acne on your skin like i mean for my ladies or for my gents or for, for whoever who gets you know that one annoying pimple on the same spot each and every single time just know that you're not doing something right for your body anyway guys if you've reached this point of the video i'd love to thank you so 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 much your love and support is really appreciated remember to do the honors of liking as in like right now step out of the video like this video commenting as in like right now go back type whatever you want to type type actually comment on what part of the video that you loved please because i've noticed that not a lot of people comment on my videos anymore and i have noticed that um the first few months a lot of people would comment on my videos and there are a few videos of which i did not comment or reply or like the comments and that is only because a lot of the times if i do not comment or like your comments it's because i will be going through the most for example pablo's first feature right i did not reply to any of those comments because right after that video dropped i then went off social media like i was off social media for some period of time so yeah just know that i'm not ignoring your comment i love all my comments anyway like i said like comment share this video with your friends and your family and of course subscribe to the growing seed if you're new to my channel anyway guys i'll see you guys on my next video bye